all right. Let's give her the once over real quick, make sure she's working, make sure my light is everything is working. Testing one, two on the microphone. Check testing one, two. I know you hear me out there. I am right here in Jackson. Hello everyone and welcome to another version of American Truck Sims. I thought I hopped inside so you guys can hear me better. Hold on, you guys know where I am in case you don't. I am drunk. Don't ask me why. It's not a whole new Ricky Lake show. Anyway, welcome you guys. Uh, like I said, we are here in Jackson. We are in my brand new Western Star 49. Look at that. It's built from uh, muscle stuff. You understand? Know Look what we got right here. Let's count the wheels. Nah, I mean, it's time to look at them. Anyway, I got a job lined up and let's get to it. Already welcome you guys. Let's go to bad boy in reverse all right we got our hazard lights on we can uh, zoom out and look behind us here all right let's, let's take out some brakes and let's go on back 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 there we go I think I'm going the right way, I'm not sure. You look with law enforcement right there. Checking us out probably. You know how it goes. Alrighty. Nice looking truck. We already established that. Now let's put her in drive and let's get out of here. I want to bring up my um overhead display. There we go. I can shut everything down now. We're, we're looking good. We're looking Take good. Let me jump inside because I'm not a good driver on the outside. For those of you who know. And I'm all over the other side of the road. No blinker, no nothing. What a way to start the morning. Must not have this coffee, huh? Anyway, let's start off by giving some shout outs. First and foremost, my number one fan in the whole why entire universe galaxy thing that can be called uh, space. A big shout out to Miss Mariah. Hey Mariah, how you doing? This is Papa. Use the right lane. Then turn right. And, uh, and coming in a close second is Michael. Hey there, Mike. Harper's in there too now. Right. Don't forget her. She may be the youngest, but I think she's going to be somebody's boss one day. You know? And if you want to hear your name shouted out, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let me know, shout my name out. And to my newest subscriber, uh, the sister queen herself. Miss Beverly H. You know who you are, Bev. Now, if you're a queen, you know I'm talking about you, Beverly. Anyway, another shout out to uh, Jerome B. Mm hmm, mm hmm. There's a lot of them out there. Keep right. Margie B. She's out there, you know. I'm a, I'm a subscriber. I'm going to holler at you. Young Gamer 55. Keep That's my right. Jamaican man. And there's something wrong with my steering if I'm not, or is it just me? We'll see. We got our 18 more miles to go before we go pick up this uh, fresh cargo. Now, I'm going to let you know a little bit about this cargo when we get close to it. I don't want to surprise. I don't want to spoil the surprise, rather. So. 
but it is a very delicate cargo and I don't see why my the calibrations is off on my um, steering it keeps going to the left by itself you know what let's pull over right here and check that I'd rather have it uh, fixed now before we start putting our load you know what I mean well, too far. Let's uh, see about our calibrations over here, people. Give me one sec. Let's go to the main menu. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. We go to options right here. And we go to uh, controls. That's, I believe, I might can solve it here. No. Steering literacy. Okay. Feedback. Force back. Okay. Center. Okay. It's centered. Feedback centering, yeah. So why am I okay? Centered steering, okay. Yes, it's centered. Okay. Ah, see that? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? How about that, huh? Still doing it. How about there? Think we got it. All right. Um. Let's go and see what we did right, people. I'm not trying to hold you because this is going to be a long drive. It's over 500, almost 600 miles. Let's take off our brakes. Let's put on our blinker. Just look behind us, there's nothing coming. You know what? I should have stayed in that lane over there. Then take the exit on the right. Yeah, I think I kind take the of exit on the right. fixed the problem. We're hoping. Use the left lane. Then turn left. Because I would hate for this thing to like, you know, lean to the left by itself when I'm uh, at left. a good speed. Because what we're about to haul is going to take a lot of uh, braking power if I have to stop real fast. And I did mention it is a delicate item worth money I don't have. See, my steering is still doing the same thing. I don't know what that is. But it is calibrating. I'm sure of it. But we'll see. And we're almost there. We are right around the corner, actually. I'm going to keep an eye on the steering wheel. See, every now and then, I'm, I'm going to see if it drifts. And it's not drifting. Continue straight. So that's good. Hopefully, the problem is solved. But never say never. Use the right lane, then turn right. All right. A good thing no trains Turn coming. Right. We are going here, Cat, which is Caterpillar, heavy equipment and machinery. It's a good thing I don't have to go down by Turn that right. Volvo sign because that Volvo dealership always make my game crash for some reason. So I try to, you know, stay away from Volvo. All right. Look, I'm coming in here. I'm so discombobulated right now. <sighs> well, because I I didn't plan on videoing today, so you guys can understand what I'm kind of like uh, discombobulated. The word we want to use. 
Mariah, I want you to look up the word discombobulated, and I want you to tell me what it means, because I don't think I know what it means. I need your help. Now, this is what we're going to pick up right here. A high Mars. Do anybody know what a high Mars is? Because if not, I can tell you. I did research on that puppy. A high Mars is a high mobility artillery rocket system. That's the high Mars. H I is high. M is mobility. A is artillery. And R is rocket. And of course, S is system. It's made by Lockheed Martin. It's made for the uh, military, of course, here in the U.S. And uh, it shoot rockets, guys. Yeah, it's a M142 High Mars. And we are going to take this High Mars all the way to uh, <clears throat> a little place I'd call home, Savannah. So here it is right there. There it is. We got to get there uh, between Wednesday at 12.51 p.m. up to Wednesday at 5.01 p.m. Right now it is 6.22 a.m. And we are leaving Jackson, headed towards to Savannah, Georgia. Now, now that I got my grip, <laughs> my composure. I'm going to turn on these hazard lights as I should have done at first. And I'm going to go forward and pick up this high Mars. I like I got some sense. You guys know I got this, right? Piece of cake. Okay, we got that part. Now back up and let's go get it, huh? Turn on our overhead lights. Which is those lights? You guys see the lights flashing? Now, have you guys noticed that third wheel is turning with my uh different view. How about that? There we go. There we go. Look her up. Look her up. She is hooked up. Now, uh, let's put it in drive and give her a tug test. So y'all can see the truck. I'm testing the brakes to make sure that the brakes are connected to the trailer. And now I'm going to uh, give it a light test. Okay, I can see. I can see, well, I can't see, so, yeah, okay, I can see the, have the lights on. Okay. Our lights seem to be working, and we can get up out of here, you guys. We can get up out of here. Yeah, we gotta hog this big old thing. I'm gonna have to hog the road. There's nothing coming that way, huh? Turn right. Yes, ma'am. 
I don't want to turn too soon because I don't want to catch that gate coming out, you know what I mean? Let me give you a good look. Okay, I think we got it. And yeah, there it is, guys. That is the uh. That's the high Mars right there. Rocket launcher. Look at that. Look at them rockets back there. Now, technically, I can leave one of my um, lights, but. Eh, I'm not gonna leave mine. It's not a big deal to me. I know what I'm doing. So. See, I got my blinkers on. Waiting on traffic. Wait for my turn to merge in. Hoping not to catch a train. It'll just be our, our luck as soon as I turn to catch a train, huh? What's going on there? Jump inside the cabin so I can take better control of this vehicle. Like I said, I don't have the money to uh, pay for this thing, so I'm, I am not going. See, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. So I'm just gonna wait right here. Nice Range Rover, huh? Okay. That that light changing nine times out of ten, I'm gonna catch a train. There we go. Now I can straighten out. There we go. No train. Continue straight. Yes, ma'am. As ordered. And right here, we are going to make a right onto the uh. Use freeway. the right lane. Then turn right. I want this car to pass me. There we go. It's like, uh, Turn right. he, yeah, okay. We still can make it. I just wanted to turn kind of wide, you know, make it safe. But I still can do it. Got to stop here first, not to get a ticket. Now I can turn. There we go. Doing our thing now. Let's eat up some road, y'all. Let's eat up some road. For those of you who have tuned in, thank you once again. And if it's your first time, the first couple of times and you're undecisive. I would appreciate you hit that subscribe button. And the only thing that entails is uh, you'll be um, you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. Or if I have like you know, a contest or I have a blog or something like that. Well, not, I would say blog as much as blog because uh, I don't I'm not a camera person. I don't have to be in front of the cameras. I would say blog is uh, uh, blog. Maybe who knows? Who knows? But anyway, um that's what happens when you hit the subscribe button and when you do make sure you hit that all indicator bell that's on there. It's, it's gonna say all personal and something else but you want to make sure that you mark the all bail when you subscribe this way uh, YouTube notifies well notice me and when I get so many subscribers and views 
then they'll notify me because I was trying to save I was jumping the gun. Then they'll notify me that I'll be eligible for uh, the uh, affiliation program. That'll do me a solid. If you guys do that and uh, check out the videos. I try to keep it enjoyable. I try to entertain. Try to keep it clean. Because my grandbabies watch these videos as well. So we ain't going to do that. If, if they don't hear me say it, then they can't say it. Nah, how about that? Anyway, moving right along. Yeah. He's the jack. I believe we have a city, right? Yeah, we have a city gap. Sounds right. Yeah, I'm not a geologist, so I wouldn't know. I think we're on Interstate 20, wherever that takes us. I, I'm not good. Alright. Seems like we're doing pretty good, but the speed limit is uh, 50, and I am doing 65. I'm way over my speed limit. Let me slow it down. I don't want to get a ticket. Keep left. Slow it down to 55. Now, just we got a long stretch. Let's go outside and look at this toy, huh? Yeah. Nice, huh? Keep left. Let's see if I can make this turn from the outside view. Kind of sketchy. Ah, slightly turn the wheel on the outside. Yeah, driving this thing on the outside is much harder than it is on the inside. On the inside, it, it has a more real feeling to it, you know. Because I have a steering wheel, I have a gas pedal, I have, I have a brake here. And, um, in the future, I won't say near, but I'm just going to say future myself neutral. Um, I will upgrade to a manual uh, shifter and then I would have to change my whole steering and uh, well maybe not. I'll see if there's an adapter for the clutch and I'll be driving a manual uh, speed transmission just like driving really. Only thing is, you're sitting in front of your uh, screen. But the steering and the um, gas and the brake and all that, turning is all real. It, it's the same. And then you get to test your skills on backing up, you know, into the docks and everything. Yeah. Game will challenge you when it comes to parking. I'll admit, oh, I'm over the line. I'll admit, uh, when I first start driving this game, even though, uh, keep left. Oh, good, I can bypass the uh, way station. And what I usually do is I usually signal them. And I blow the horn. And I'm all over the road. I don't usually drive like this. But I'm doing too much at the same time. Now my wish wipers need to be turned on. It's a cat. Yeah, but that. Wow. But as I was saying, I'm... Yeah, the driving part of this is... Uh, surreal. If, if, if you guys understand that, it's surreal. And for those of you who do play the game like I do, I enjoy this because actually it's relaxing. Taking this drive versus driving in real life. 
life this is way less stressful way less stressful you can get out here drive this virtual reality or video world however you want to call it and um, you can see green to the right of you green to the left of you you can go to actual cities because this is based off the United States. This is actually roses on the United States. So you're taking a real drive, but it's but the miles are scaled down to um, game time miles. So you can cover a lot of miles within 10 minutes of driving the game. You know what I'm saying? Versus days. Time frame on the game accelerates as well. So. I hope that's making sense to you guys because I'm not a professor. I'm not a teacher about it. Just watch what I do. That's my best teaching tool. Watch what I do. Don't ask no questions. I'm like, it's like crazy. Like, huh? Mm. I don't know. Anyway, how is everybody? Well, actually, this is Saturday. The, uh, is it the 9th, the 10th, or what? I don't know. I, I know it's Saturday. I think it's the 10th, right? Yeah. Whatever day it is. It's July. Let me get my phone to verify the day. Now that's bothering me. Not, yeah, July 10th, Saturday. Alright. And I decided to take a drive, and I said, well, you know what, I haven't recorded in a while, so let me throw it together real quick and make it a long trip to see who can hang out with me today, because I'm laid back in my chair, and I got my hand on the steering wheel, and I'm kind of laid back like I would be in long live. I got my Arizona energy drink, you guys know that's all I drink, and some water, you know, occasionally, when I feel like a daredevil, I'll drink water, but other than that, it's Arizona Energy Drink RX. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's slow this down. Because uh, when you get into these kind of places, you start seeing more um, police cars. So I'm just going to slow it down. We got time to get there. But yeah, here go a free plug for Arizona Energy RX Herbal Tonic. Yeah, uh, it's all natural. It's not like the one that gives you wings and all that kind of uh, uh, scary cans and all that kind of stuff with little symptoms on the top about energy. Uh, it's all natural. It's all natural. So that's all I drink, you know. Like I said, when I'm feeling bad, you know, I feel like a daredevil. I'll drink some water, yeah, buddy. I get down to the pretty with some water. But, it's Arizona all the way. Now, we got 433 more miles to go, people. And it's now Tuesday, 9.03 a.m. Now, pay attention to that clock up there. See the time go by real fast as the miles to the speed limit is 47 and I'm only doing 43. Let's make this turn first. Let's keep it sweet and neat, tight and right. Even though I'm going to the left. Ah. I'm easy back over to the left. Y'all didn't see that, did you? But I did it. Now getting back to this drive, guys, uh, I like this because I can get away and not even leave my house. I can be in the privacy of my own home, something that I enjoy doing and I ain't bother nobody. At the same time, when I record, I'm not bothering anybody, 
but I'm entertaining at the same time for those of you who tune in. I'm entertaining. But technically, I ain't bothering nobody. See? That's a win-win situation right there, people. Yes, and you can adopt that too. I gave you permission. Anyway, that's what you get when you subscribe to this channel. So, sometimes you get some real good knowledge. Sometimes, I don't know what I'd be saying. It's a wacky stuff. But it just be, that's my character. That's just who I am. I ain't feel right. Alrighty. We're gonna pick up the speed of just a little bit more. The speed limit is 50. I'm only doing 45. That is not good. Let's pick this up. Because I really don't want to be behind schedule. And according to this time, we're going to drive through the night. But if I had it my way, I would be doing like 85 right now. But as I said again, my grandbaby made me watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this by the book this time. Okay. I got Use the right lane. Then take the exit on the right. Y'all heard that Jake break? Sound nice, don't it? And feel free to use my side view mirror to see what's behind me. Keep left. 
you know, I probably said, oh my God, he talked to himself. Yes, I do. It just me, myself, and I, hey. Whoa. I'm my own best friend. Who said that? Somebody said that. Me, myself, and I. I'm my own best friend. Me, myself, and I. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't want no copyrights about no nothing. I said, let's go outside and look at this guy as we have to. There you go. There you guys go. Okay, how's that? Oh, straight out the truck. Straight out the truck. Straight out the truck. Oh. I'm trying to enjoy the sea, the, uh, the ocean, the river, the lake, wherever that is. I'm, I'm gonna crash. Yep, I'm a good driver. I'll tell you that much. How about that? Let's see if I can do good here. Yeah, let me bring up my uh, mirrors on the outside. So I'll be able to see behind me. I better get back inside because uh, I see some windy roads coming up there. And, uh, I would hate to get into a wreck. Just lose the mirrors. I don't need those. Not outside anymore. How do you guys like my hanging minions? Use I'm, the right lane. I'm somewhat. And take the exit on the right. I'm a fan of theirs. I like Despicable 1 and 2. Take the exit on the right. And if they make another one, I'll see it again. Well, I'll see that as well. Alright, we're getting off here. We're going to the right. Like I said, my stopping distance, it'll be under California law. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna let you see my stopping distance. See, that's my distance. And I could edge up a little more, but you know. We're gonna do it by the book. Side because this is one of them turns. This one of them turns you don't play with. Right turn ahead. Turn right. Yes, I will. Y'all watch that tail end. Look at that mirror. That's how you turn, people. Now, let me get over here because I'm going to be turning left very soon. We still got a little bit of over 300 more Use miles the left to go. Lane. That's it. This is going to be a long trip. Let me see who hangs in there with me. Get California law on stopping, which I could go a little closer. Yes, I can. As long as my, my string will see the bottom of his bumper, I think that'd be sufficient. Yeah, see? Yeah. As long as my string will see the bottom of his bumper. Next section. I'm good. Or, if I could read his license plate and it was low enough. That was a secret I was told. There's never no hurry when you're turning. You can lose ground. 
ground by turning too fast. You guys know that? Yeah, look like we don't go into the night with this driver. It's gonna go into the night. We're estimated to get there uh, at this current rate. We'll be there Wednesday at about 6:30. Ish, more or less than 30. It says 6:21 now, and I am going too fast, but. I want to gain momentum on this hill, so, yeah, I'm going to stick with this speed, because once I start climbing, it's going to slow down. You guys wondering why I got quiet because I was over here contemplating um, my route. Yeah. But never fear, I'm still here and moving right along. How many of you guys shop at the Macy's? There's your truck right there. Myself, I am not a Macy's person, but I don't too much care for the name. Names don't do nothing to me as long as my body's covered. You know. I mean, not that I'm cheap, but you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't follow names like that. those I messed around with modding and that's what I came up with so 
I'm still working on it slowly. I'm, I'm not dedicated to it yet. It doesn't spark my interest that much. Nobody has commented on it, so uh, it's on the back burner. So I'll get to it one day. Like I said, never rush your turn, people. Never rush your turn. Because you don't want to curve it. See, almost curved it, but I was safe, but almost curved it. Okay, put my blinkers on. Let them know I'm coming into the freeway. See, that's that California law stuff right there. I'm teaching you guys. Okay, now that I'm not going to get over, I'm going to turn my blinkers off. My speed is 55. I think I better get over. No? Keep right. Yeah, I'll better slow you down, Ted. Yeah, there we go. I wanna go around this bend too fast, you'll tip. Well, I doubt that uh High Mars and Chip, but uh, I don't want to take that chance. You know what I mean? I ain't got that kind of money. Going into the tunnel. That's a blow the horn for the kids. I 
I just wish I was a better outside driver so I could let you guys see some of the scenery too. What it looked like a bird's eye view, but I'll wind up wrecking. Due to the fact it's hard to steer on the outside because you don't have that real life calculations on turning it up still close to, you know what I mean? You can overturn just by nudging it. So I don't. I don't like driving outside. And it, it it's more real like this anyway. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm parking both these lanes. I see myself. Definitely got to calibrate the steering wheel again because uh, for some reason it's not, uh, I don't know. I'm going to turn these wipers. Just have some real clean windows now, huh? You know, I definitely got to calibrate this wheel all over again. Something happened. But we did good. We 
did good. Right now, I can could, I could get a ticket, but if I go 55, I won't. See, I'm safe at this speed. If you go six over, anything over five, you know, five and under, you're safe. Uh, but if, if you go six over the speed limit, no matter what the speed limit is, if you go six over the speed limit, you're getting a ticket. If a cop's in the area. And they got speed traps too. So you see like a motorcycle parked on the medium or you know, on the side of the road. That's a um, speed trap. Alright, we're getting there uh night at nine thirty and it's still decreasing, so we're getting there today sometimes. Now, by going five over the speed limit, which I'm doing 55, I'm still eating up my time. So that estimated time, it keeps dropping. Because it keeps having to reset the time that I'm getting there because I'm eating up time. Continue straight. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. What? Up on 8:30. That's right when it's getting dark. I do believe. Yeah, you got the sun still behind me, huh? Okay, so that sun is going down behind us if we're going east. So we gotta hurry up and get to our destination before it starts getting dark. I'm not a very good night. They're one of my trailers on that side that passes up. Um, I'm, I'm not a very good night driver. So. Ah. I mean, I could drive a night. I, 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 I just can't see as well. So, uh, I can bypass the way station again, my friend. So let's give them that old shout out. As soon as we get up on them. Let's turn on our lights now. We are about to. Let's blow that horn. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Up yours. Uh-huh. Appreciate it. Goodbye. Alrighty. Here we go here. And this guy's just gonna jump on. He's just gonna jump on. No blinkers, no nothing, huh? Sure. Now, I'm gonna get back over. Uh, well, no. I'm not gonna do that. Continue and straight. I'm trying to check my lights. Okay, just regular beams. Okay. Another trailer of mine. Yeah.
Yeah, we're getting into the night. And we only got four more miles to go. See how much time we save by going that extra five miles? At a constant speed, and I have a and I have a garage out here in Savannah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Continue straight. Okay, your freeway ends right here. Savannah Historical District. I better go. Use the left lane, then turn left. You got that coming. We are here, people. Turn yes, left. we are. I don't know if my lights are on. Let's run outside real quick. Let's turn around. Yeah, these are the brights, baby. Took Davey to go. I think we're back inside. Yes, we are. We made it by 7 p.m. Well, before 7 p.m. Wow. And they said yesterday, well they said tomorrow at about like six something in the morning. No, I wasn't having that. May I turn please? Thank you. My turn? Appreciate it. It really seems like this uh, this frame rate is acting up, okay? If it is, I apologize. But it really the frame rate is acting Take the up. right turn ahead. Put turn that right. blinker was on the train. It blinker. Stays on too long, I don't know. But I know uh, the blinker slowed down and then. Um, there we go. I didn't curb, did it? No, I did not. Yes, you did. You curbed it. Yeah, I curbed it. Which means running over the curb, or curbing it. It was kind of self-explanatory. You know? Curbing it. Curb. Getting the keyword here. Continue straight. All right. Well. Like I said, it's getting dark. As I anticipated, but we made it. You guys hung in there with me. It took a whole hour. Wow, I don't believe it took a whole hour. I Take the left turn ahead. So this one gonna be, uh... This one gonna be in my extended, uh... Turn left. Um... Library files as well. We are here. Let's hit the bright lights and in them hazards and bring that puppy on in here. Let's toot that horn. All right. We are here. It all depends on how they want to park. This how I'm a park this thing. There we go. Let's set our brake. Let's jump outside because I want to see where they want me to park it. Okay. 
do like another military vehicle over there. Now hit enter and see what they wanted. Hmm. I can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can do that. You guys ready? I'm gonna turn them lights up there because we're gonna need it. We're gonna put it right with that little, uh, those two white line marker, marker lines, whatever you call them. I don't particularly call them anything, I know that's why I gotta put it, you know what I mean? Put it right there, Marks, yeah. That would know them. Okay, well, let's put her in reverse for that thirst. Always turn your wheel opposite you want it to go. Another little hint for you guys. Now, I don't want to cut it too much because I want to straighten this stuff out. So you got to kind of like navigate that turn. You don't want to underturn it and you don't want to overturn it. You know I, mean? I, I probably... Well, let's see. I, I might clean this up. I might clean this up. Now just let it go straight back. I have to come forward. This is the error of my ways. But it was a good first attempt. See, now I ain't gotta uh, fuss with it as much. Because I basically got it in there. Air pressure. Air pressure. And that's the little beeping sound you hear. That's the air pressure. You know what? I think I got it. Oh, y'all didn't give it to me? Oh, that's not fair. Park break gauge, okay. Oh, air pressure, air pressure, air pressure, air pressure. I have no air pressure, people, so that's... <clears throat> Give up air pressure. This could happen to a nicer guy, I'm telling you. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. That's a lot of air pressure. Okay, now you guys hear that little beeping sound stop? I got air pressure. And it came right back on, wow. If I'll be able to go uh, back or not. 
Yeah, lower pressure again, people. This is embarrassing, I swear it is. What? What can you do? This happens in real life to real truckers. I'm not a trucker. I can't move this thing without no air pressure, so... That's a beeping here. Until that goes away, I got no air pressure. Rubbing the engine helps eliminate the... Oh, there we go. But I'd rather give it a little more seconds. Instead of fighting just in the end. And let's look at our parking, guys. Uh, yeah, I was almost in there. I was almost in there. Alright, here we go. There you go. See that I mean? Let's set them brakes and let's get out of here with this one. It, it, it took too long. Now, this is a hot call, some real dedicated uh, subscribers. If y'all set through this. And we still ain't finished? Because I gotta say, job complete, excellent, of course. Okay, the high Mars delivered from Jackson to Savannah. Driven distance was 567 miles. 12 hours and 38 minutes was the time taken. Okay, fuel consumed was 77.5 gallons. The reward, the money, the experience. Okay, the base reward for uh, 567 miles was $19,736. Uh, experience points of... 913 uh proficiency bonus uh level 1861 an additional 19,136 level no experience points long distance delivery bonus skill rate 6 uh 1913 hmm yeah looks familiar don't that look familiar hmm hmm don't that look familiar hmm? anyway uh experience points 228 High value, high value cargo bonus. Okay, I'm not sleepy. I just can't read. Skill rank six, uh, additional 5,740. Experience points 164. Urgent delivery bonus. All these bonuses, I like it. Skill rank six again, 3,444. Experience points 182. Trailer maneuvering bonus, what I was just doing, backing up, going for. They gave me 40 points. I should have got more, but it, it I, I messed up. Add up all these experience points, these five columns, and you'll get 1,527. Add up the money columns, these five columns, you get 49,969. All right, that's it. That's it. I promise you. I promise you. And when you um, read the, uh, this would be in the description. All of this here will be in the description when you go to this video. Alrighty. With that being said, let me let you guys up out of here. Y'all been hanging in there long enough. I, I appreciate you. I'm going to let you go. I should have enough air to get up out of here right now. Okay. Uh, Alright guys, until the next time, I'll see you when I see you. Later, alligator. You hear me? <laughs>